It's O two fifty five, and I'm working on the settlements. My account has settled from last week's option sales, and uh, I haven't combed my hair yet. But this is maybe appropriate for the market we're in. So, to uh, share my screen on the trades I'm going to do, I've got 1,700 shares of HBI with an average cost basis of $9.79. Remember the mantra. It's not what I paid for it or what I sell it for. It's what I have to, the cost I have to replace it for. So I've got to replace the stock uh, under 979 to keep a positive cash flow. At any rate, until I go above um, a cost a replacement cost of 979, then I've got a positive cash flow. Okay, now let's see what I can do on these 1,700 shares. All right, the current market price on Friday, the closing price was eight forty four. Um, actually, that wasn't the closing price because of extended trading and overnight trading. The current market price this Saturday is eight forty four. So, I can get fifty cents a share by selling um, eight dollar uh, puts. Now, I've already got seven contracts sold uh, for $8 strike price. So that only leaves me 10 more. So what shall I do? What shall I do? Okay. Um, there's nothing, no bid price at all for a, a, a $9 strike so the market sentiment for sure is that the stock is either going to stay in the eight dollar range or less now the liquidation value of of uh, hbi best i can determine from their published financials is about 850 a share in other words they sold off everything sold the company that's what the book value would be so it's getting very close to being a real, real bargain. Um, so I don't anticipate a huge decrease from the $8 range. Could be wrong. But at any rate, shall I throw everything on the $8 stack? Well, let's see what that would amount to. All right, that would bring me in $500. Um, and as long as the price of the stock, when it's called away is less than nine, what was it, 979, uh, my cost basis, then I would have some positive cash flow. Of course, if it drops, uh, uh, below eight dollars then i would have 100 percent cash flow on these premiums but um i'm gonna go with this if if, this, if we have a price snapback i may regret this but i've got a long way to go from eight dollars to uh 9.79 so i'm gonna go ahead and place this order all right and that's the work that was the time it took to bring in an income of 500 bucks so not bad okay so that's my uh 
work for the week. Everything now is in play. Let me go to um, another screen here. All right. So I'm fully committed to all my available, well, not all of my available resources. But if you consider my margin, I can still buy some uh, uh, puts or sell some puts covered by the uh, margin. And at $8, that would give me a straddle. Shall I do that or not? Hmm, that's going to run up a margin uh, percentage, which always makes me nervous. But I'll tell you, it'd be nice to have a straddle at $8. I think I'm going to do it. I won't, I won't try to straddle the 17. In fact, I don't have enough margin to do that, but at least I could do it in two or three contracts. All right, let's see. All right. Let me... Uh, Well, I think I'd be foolish not to. Right now, I need all the additions of revenue stream I can get. Uh, this is a tough market, and last week wasn't of the best for my free cash flow in terms of how much of it was free. Uh, I did. It was a positive cash flow, but. Um, I don't have the mathematical skill to determine how much of it was for free. Um, don't have that calculus. Um, okay, I'm going to go ahead and do a, a few more. Um, all right. See, I'm only, it's only, I can only get a nickel for it. Um, and at least that's the last bid. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to put in an order to sell two contracts, but I'm not going to accept less than 20 cents a share. So this is, this is a limit order. So unless I can get 20 cents a share premium or better, the order won't get filled. So, but I'm going to go ahead and do that. Um, I mean, it's only 40 bucks, but hey, 40 bucks, 40 bucks, if it gets filled. In this crazy market, God only knows uh, what it could do. I, I think the likelihood of getting filled is almost nil. On the other hand, I could put in, um, I've got three, um, nine dollar puts outstanding and you know i think i'm going to increase that just a bit um maybe another sell another contract on that um All right. So now I have four open. Well, three actually open. They were sold. I've got an order in for another another one, uh, which would bring me in another fifty five bucks. So I'll run with that, and we'll see how it turns out. If you are getting anything out of these um, videos, I'd appreciate you hitting subscribe and notifications so you can know when I post a new one.
All right. Let's all have a good day and a good week. Here's hoping. Okay. Uh, it may be a good time to talk about free cash flow and why at any point in time it's difficult, if not impossible. Maybe if you had enough math skill, you could. Uh, using calculus, you could see the, the various outcomes that were possible. Um, but in the it it all revolves around your your cost basis. As long as you can replace the stock at your cost basis or less, essentially you've washed out any capital loss, and your free cash flow is really one hundred percent. So that seems to be counterintuitive, but that's the way it is. In other words, it really revolves around how many contracts can you cover because you're, you're paid, uh, your income is based on how many contracts you can sell. So as long as you don't have a decrease in the number of contracts uh, that you're able to cover, you're fine. And in terms of what you could draw out uh, of your account and use the income, um, as long as you, you could draw out it, it, everything that's available, it does not decrease your last number of contracts sold. That way your revenue stream the potential is level and yet you've taken out money to use. You're taking your profits off the table, so to speak. So I just wanted to add that uh, little bit of clarification.